Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I will be unboxing, reviewing, and setting up this TP-Link AC1750 wireless router. Uh, it's the Archer A7. I got it on Amazon for $60, but you can also get it for, I think, $50 with the $10 uh, off. It just depends if your Amazon account has that or not. But before I get started, I'm going to do a quick speed test between this and my old router. So let's check the speed of my old router. It's very slow. I have Ryzen Fios. It's supposed to be 100 megabits per second. Let's see how much I get. And the reason I got this is because the internet is so slow. The router I'm using is Ryzen's router and it's about 10 years old, you know? That was the first ever router we ever got. And uh, yeah. So it looks like we're getting around 35. All right, it just finished up. And as you can see, it's 33 megabits per second down and 15 upload. That's horrible. For what I'm paying for Fios, this is terrible. So let's talk about this router. As you can see right here, this is a dual band router. It has the 2.5 gigahertz, which is gonna give you up to 450 megabits per second, and the five gigahertz one, which is all the way up to 1300 megabits per second. And uh, that's insane compared to 33, and I'm supposed to be getting 100, 150. That's some more info right here. You can pause it if you wanna read it. I've been needing this. Yesterday, well, two days ago, I tried to upload a video and I finally uploaded it yesterday. It took two days to upload a single YouTube video, which is crazy. Now I'm gonna upgrade and we'll see how this goes. This is the router itself. It's made out of plastic. Let's take this off. It looks nice. Definitely looks better than the Fios one I have. Uh, manuals and uh, how to set up your password. The adapter. And then the internet cable. And the router itself looks pretty nice too. It's very sleek in my opinion. On the back we got all of the ports right here. There's even a USB port. There's the power. And this is for the adapter right here. And these are for the ethernet cables. It has four ethernet ports. And then this one's for the internet. Here's a quick comparison with the old router and the new router. They're pretty much the same size. To connect it, you have to first turn off your modem or wherever the internet is coming from. Uh, have the router connected and you also need to connect the router, have a hardware connection to your PC or your laptop. Since I have a 2018, MacBook, I can't do that, so I had to bring this whole PC over here to do this. Now I gotta connect this part to the PC. So it goes right here for me. It says Ethernet on it. Before you do all of this, you don't have this connected to your internet port, uh, turn off your modem first. So I'm gonna go do that. I have to do a lot of walking for mine. Mine is all the way downstairs. I'm gonna unplug this and just, it's, the battery's out. So I'm gonna go back upstairs and then connect the cable to the other, the PC. All right, I'm back upstairs. And let me just go ahead and turn this off. Wait, before I do that, I'm gonna reset this just in case. Set button is right over here. I'm gonna use this fork too. After you've done that, go ahead and plug it into the internet port. Next, I have to go downstairs again and then turn on the modem. All right, there we go. And it's blinking with power. Uh, after this, after you plug it in, wait for about two minutes so system is up and running. All right. Now I'm gonna turn it back on again. It's been about five minutes. Okay, looks good. 
After you do all of that and your router is still not connecting, all you have to do is go to this tplink login.net and then just follow the steps there, then your internet will start working. Now that I've finished up setting up the router, let's do the test again. I'm in the same position, I'm in my basement, and let's get started. You can't, oh my God. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is a wireless connection. I'm in my basement, like I said, and look at the difference. Now, all right guys, there you have it. We got 99 megabits per second down and 125 up. That's awesome. I definitely recommend this router to anybody that wants to upgrade their older router. For $60, this is worth it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace. It looks weird.